While there are a few subtle differences, many of the following steps illustrated will remain the same. The bite fork is prepared with the impression compound as was previously described. Place the bite fork into the mouth. Position the fork so that the stem of the fork aligns with the facial midline and support the fork until the material is set. The best way to check the alignment of the bite fork is to view the patient from behind. Note how the stem of the fork is aligned perpendicular with the facial plane. When the material is set, gently remove the fork. Rinse the impression compound under cold water. Inspect the registration for any soft tissue or deep occlusal registrations. Any excess can be trimmed away with a barred Parker blade. The final bite fork with impression compound should have only cusp tips and incisal edges registered and no perforations through to the metal. Place the bite fork back into the mouth. Ensure the cusp tips seat all the way into the registration record. Support the bite fork underneath by having the patient bite on cotton rolls. Occasionally, the bite fork may need to be supported by the assistant during the recording of the face bow registration. Raise the chair up to a seated position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this on the little post that's coming out of your mouth. Once I do that, I want you to reach up, take these, and place these in your ears. And I want you to put one finger on either side, just like that, and just hold gently against that. Keep your head in the headrest at all times, please. Okay, go ahead and place those up in your ears. Great, just one finger, that's super. Okay, just a little lighter there with your pressure. You don't want very much pressure. And let's move your hand back here towards your ear a little bit closer. Good. All right, this piece is going to fit right against the bridge of your nose. Make sure you keep your teeth closed against that cotton at all times for me. When you feel a little pressure here, I want you to push in at your ears just slightly. Okay, hold on to it there just like that. Once the face bow is in place, gently tighten the toggle, taking care not to tilt the face bow. Next, have the patient gently hold the face bow arms to stabilize it as you finish tightening the toggle. Here we have the completed face bow transfer. Note that the face bow is centered on the patient's face and the transverse bar is parallel with the inner pupillary line. While the patient stabilizes the face bow, carefully slide the nose piece away from the patient's nose, loosen the center thumb screw on top of the face bow. The entire face bow assembly is removed by advising the patient to pull the ear pieces out of the ears while helping to remove the bite fork from the mouth.